Uh, yes, let me make uh, two points to each of the others. One is, uh, I thought that Martin made a uh, very good point when he spoke about the Pakistani, uh, Pakistani uh, nuclear weapons that he said we tolerate. Of course, we tolerate them because we don't have any choice but to tolerate them since uh, uh, they, uh, by the time we found out about them, they already had them. Whereas uh, here is a chance to uh, prevent that from happening. But the, the, the important uh, implication of, of your point, Martin, is what would we do if Pakistan were not under its current government but were taken over by the radical factions in Pakistan? We might not be able to do uh, a, a, a military action against it, but the world would be, as I'm sure you would not deny, an infinitely more frightening place uh, if Pakistan's nukes were in the hands of uh, one of these uh, violent groups. And that's exactly the situation we'll have uh, if Iran gets nukes, because it's already in the hands of one of these extreme and uh, violent groups. Uh, to uh, Kareem, you mentioned uh, five major issues on which Iran has great influence, and it uses its influence uh, to uh, do us as much harm as it can and be as big an obstruction as it can uh, on each one of them because it regards us as its main obstacle to its glorious dreams of dominating the region and perhaps the world. And if we allow Iran to become that much stronger, as it will if it gets uh, nuclear weapons, then it's going to do us that much more harm in all of these five areas. 30 second response. Well, um, you know, the Iranian government is, is a nasty government. And uh, it uh, certainly uh, supports terrorist organizations. But it's not Al Qaeda. And it already has weapons of mass destruction. And it is not given those weapons of destruct mass, mass destruction to its uh, client terrorist organizations, Hezbollah or Hamas. So I, I think that, that the analogy doesn't apply. The Iranian regime is focused more than anything else on its own survival. It also seeks, as you suggest, to spread its revolution. But when it comes to the acquisition of nuclear weapons, it moves itself into a completely different realm in which the craziness that we see now will require a great deal of caution on their part because of the consequences for the regime's survival.